Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will talk about an important Google service that it provides to all users. This service is called Google Drive, everyone knows this service, but in the video I will talk about it in detail. Google Drive service was launched for the first time in 2012, specifically on April 24, 2012, and it is a service concerned with storing files and folders, on the cloud of Google servers. That is, it provides you with a cloud drive with a specific storage space, that you can use at any time, and any user can share his files through devices, whether laptop, PC, mobile or Mac. You can also access your Google Drive from anywhere, all you need is to go to Google Drive from any web browser, and log in. Among the advantages of Google Drive is not only storage, but you can share files, and documents with others. We will learn how to share files in this video. How do you create a private account in Google Drive? In order to have a Google Drive, you just need to create an account in Google. If you already have a Gmail or Google account, you have a free Google Drive. What kind of files can be stored in Google Drive? Google Drive supports almost all types of files of music, photos, movies, as well as compressed files of all kinds, and also PDF files, Word and Excel files, and all text files. Now we will go to the computer to learn how to access Google Drive, and how to use it. Of course, you must have a Gmail account, open Chrome browser and log into your Gmail account. After that, click on the Google Services button, and select Google Drive. This is your Google Drive page, you can now use it and create files, and upload files or folders. On the left, click on the New button, and from the list select a folder. Then type the name of the folder, and then press the Create button. The folder has already been created. Go again to the new button, and from the menu choose File Upload. This button is to upload files from your computer to the cloud drive. Now from your computer, you can select the file you want to upload, to the drive. After selecting and uploading the file to the drive, you can create a new folder, with a new name, and then move the file to the new folder. To move the file, right click on the file and from the menu select move to, after that, you will see all the folders on the drive, select the folder you want, and press the move to button. This notice indicates that a file has been uploading and completed, you can close it. Go again to the new button, and choose upload folders, this enables you to upload an entire folder, the computer will open for you, and select the folder you want to upload completely. Wait for the upload process to finish, the upload may take some time depending on the size of the files you are uploading, and the speed of the internet. You can create an unlimited number of folders, create what you want. And you can change the color of the folder according to the color you like, just right click on the folder, and from the menu select change color, and then choose the color that matches the folder. Click this button to change the view of folders to a list. Now we will learn how to share folders and files, with others from Google Drive. File sharing is one of the most important features of this service. Right click on the folder you want to share, and from the menu select share. To share files and folders with others, you must add the email of the person you want to share your files with, so that no one else can access your files. After adding the email of the person you want to share, he will ask you to send him a reminder, type what that means, but before pressing the send button, click on editor. So you can specify the permission to share the folder, if you specify a viewer, it means that he has the authority to view only. As for the commenter, he has the authority to watch and comment, I am an editor, he has all the powers and he has the right to delete the folder if he wants. I selected the viewer, 
so that the participant with the folder can view only, and then press the send button. Share another folder, and add the email to anyone you want, but we will learn something else. How to get the link of the folder that has been shared, and there are two options. The first are the people who have been added by email, the second option, is for anyone with the link to view and share the folder. You can certainly control that, choose what suits you, and make copies of the link and send it to anyone you want. You are now managing the drive from the web page, another way is that you can download, and install Google Drive for the desktop, and run it from the computer without opening the web page. To get the Google Drive desktop application, click on the gear icon, and select Get Backup and Sync for Windows. Click on Download Drive for Desktop, and wait for the download to finish. After the download is complete, install Google Drive to your desktop, Click on the application and proceed with the installation process. Select Add Shortcut on Desktop, and press the Install button. You will be asked to log in to verify the user. Follow the steps. You can close it now, you will find on the desktop a shortcut folder for the drive, open it and create any folder you want, or move any files inside, and the application will synchronize them and put them on the drive. Go to the drive page from the web, you will find that the application has synced the new folder that was created. You can rely on Google Drive to always store files, and share them with others safely, and in a simple and easy way for any user. The last information is that Google Drive is giving 15 GB of free space to all users, this space is free, and you can use it to store all your folders and photos. But if you want more than 15 GB space, you can click on Buy Storage to see the price plan available with Google and determine what suits the size of your files. I hope the video is useful to you, thank you for watching, and I hope subscribe to my channel, thank you all.